Hello, brother and sister. Uh, very good evening. It's a great honor and privilege for all of us that uh, today Dr. Asher uh, Kamran is with us from uh, Thailand. And uh, as uh, we all uh, well aware that uh, there are large number of uh, Pakistani asylum seeker uh, living at the moment in um, uh, Thailand, and uh, uh, you know that they are in a very uh, bad situation at the moment. So this is a great opportunity for us that to listen about all these people, how they are living there, and how many Pakistani Christians are there, and what is their future. And secondly, how we can help them and support them from here. And uh, welcome, Dr. Asher, and uh, it's a great uh, honor for me to uh, to host you. And uh, uh, while you are here, please uh, tell us something about uh, yourself and uh, uh, about your work you are doing among the uh, Pakistani Christian are in the wider community in Thailand and uh, uh, I mean it, it will be very informative for our uh, people to know about these people. Sure. Uh, thank you very much uh, Reverend Noble. It's a privilege that uh, we had this opportunity to enjoy your hospitality, Welcome. your great uh, hospitality that we've been thoroughly enjoying. We are really grateful mm -hmm. to you. Uh, well I'm uh, I'm living in Thailand. Um, I'm originally from Pakistan, from uh, Sindh province, and my parents, they are Anglican minister of the uh, Diocese of Hyderabad for over 30 years. But I'm a medical doctor and my specialty is uh, aviation medicine. Mm -hmm. And I run my business for air ambulance company. But as, Rick, uh, as the, I'm inclined from, from a family who have always served the Lord and they have always this passion to go and serve his people. Mm -hmm. So wherever we are based, it's always uh, on our mind and heart to serve his people. So uh, taking in view about the condition about Pakistani brothers and sisters, especially Christian asylum seekers and refugees. Tell us something, how many uh, Pakistani Christians are there? Well, uh, unregistered uh, number of uh, refugees and asylum seekers is uh, about five to six thousand mm. and about eight thousand are already registered oh my God. yes so they are but but the registration with UNHCR it doesn't mean that they are entitled to stay there mm. or work there or live there legally so that just a registration so basically Thai government doesn't recognize it and in the reality they are illegal because they don't why have is, valid why is a long delay in that well, uh, as we go back to uh, a few years back when the situation was not like this, the influx of refugees and asylum seekers was not that big. During those times, uh, UNHCR used to handle cases about three to 400 per year, but it has increased to uh, five to 6,000 oh in the last few couple of years. Mm -hmm. So this had made really the facilities and the staff to, to work very hard and cope up with the workload, what they are facing. Since the resources are still the same, the work and uh, the help is still the same, the funds are still the same. So that's why there is a very long wait but that why, they have to why go. Why is the Pakistani Christian are so optimistic about that? Why they are... Well, I would risk? like to take this opportunity to, mm. uh, to, to send this message out to uh, to our to our Pakistani Christian brothers and sisters, and also to the people who's uh, who 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 are being consulted by their loved ones before they are going to Thailand. Basically, this is a very wrong choice. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't be coming to Thailand because there is nothing there for them. If they are willing to wait for for five to six years just to wait for the first interview, and then there is no guarantee that they are going to be accepted by UN as a refugee or asylum seeker. Yeah. So I don't think so that Thailand is a is a right choice to go. So what we can do from here, from UK? Well, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, this is uh, this is very, very crucial mm. uh, situation because all these people are in need. Most of them, they sold their houses they, Somebody informed us that they are in the cell, you know, and... Uh, oh, yeah. Let me come back to that, because once they are, they are caught by the, by the immigration mm -hmm. authorities, 
they are sent to the uh, immigration detention center which is a very very difficult situation mm -hmm. and in those cells they are living in very de desperate conditions no medical help no food uh, there there are some organizations there are some people who are sending in some help but that is not enough so people in uh, in uk or, or elsewhere who feel this uh, uh, this this heart for for the for their Pakistani brothers and sisters who are asylum seekers, of course there is always a need mm. of sending some food, some medicine, and some help for them. So, but the basic needs, all the basic need things, are always welcome because this is very important for them. Thank you very much, Dr. Ashir, and hope to uh, see you very soon. And uh, we will try our best to help them. And uh, if you if you have any other message you want to say, anything else to or viewers, please. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sure. Um, I I would like to tell them that you know if there is there there is anyone who is asking you or consulting mm -hmm. you that they they would like to move to Thailand and, and and register an asylum case, please try to give them the right information. Don't mislead them. And I also request those people who are using these uh, uh, the the these people to be uh, to to. To, to, to get financial benefit and sending them to Thailand, this is also not right because Thailand is not really the place to be. Thank you very much, Dr. Ashir. God bless you. Thank you, brother and sister. Now you can see that uh, uh, there's a great need of, uh, of support for these people. So please remember this, them in your prayer. And if you can do something for them, you're welcome. You can send your support to, uh, through us and uh, we'll be more than happy to pass your uh, help and support to the uh, to these people and uh, i pray that may god bless you and please continue pray for them god bless you bye